Hey guys, we're going to do a little instant replay here for some reason and we didn't uh, get live on the Facebook portion. We hope you enjoyed WBNL Radio AM and FM this morning. So we're going to do a little one over. Please click on and let me know if we are live and you're on there with us this morning. It's about 8.25. Ryan is finishing up. Oh, thank you, Sheila. Um, uh, we, for some reason, one of the devices, it's raining today. We didn't get up, but we did do this, um, through streaming radio at radio1540.net this morning at eight. We also worked with Ryan at WBNL radio station, your AM FM station for the tri-state areas, um, your hometown station. And it was brought to you by Town Square Furnishing there in Boonville, Indiana for all your needs. We want to thank so much this week um, the Newburgh Women's Club for their contribution to purchase food at the Bread of Life Ministry Incorporated. Uh, Lori was there to accept and it was a great time. And hello, Miss Kunze. I know that's not your name, but she said she saw you there. My second grade teacher in Linville Elementary, one of my favorite teachers. And uh, I would love to connect with you and see you or connect with you on Facebook and see how things are going. We wanted to let you know Chris Vallman contacted me this week. If you ordered onions from the Shriners, they are in now and can be picked up. Or um, I believe they may have some extras or purchased. Um, this is a great organization that helps a lot of children, uh, the Shriners. So please support um, them too. Remember our annual golf scramble at the Bread of Life Ministry Incorporated will be at the Boonville Country Club September 18th uh, for a great time had by all and a great cause. Exciting things happening. I've got some clients that uh, purchased a wonderful piano this week and they said we've been looking for a great cause and we would love to drive up there, husband and wife, and play some golf. And uh, Con Boonville Country Club, they're scoping you out because they want to get their plan on playing. Uh, Ed Colburn, I hope I'm going to see you guys and your golf team this year. Uh, we have got already some commitments for our signs. And Sue Roberts, I will be calling you in the next two days to get some stuff scheduled and our team members together to get this ready for September 18th. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about, um, this is the Bread of Life Ministry Radio Program, WBNL, which we started a new YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel, um, I'm archiving a lot of dad's videos, um, some tours of WBNL radio where I grew up, and um, just some great things for you to see and uh, ministry and messages from dad and some of our past ones that we've done for him. Today, our title and the picture I posted was, oops, change of plan. You've never had that, right? Right. Well... Proverbs 19.21 says, Many are the plans in um, a person's heart, but it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. Now, I have calendars everywhere. I plan every moment on the moment. Deborah Sheridan um, is excellent. She keeps it in her phone, and the ones I forget, she tells me. Yesterday, my plans went oops. Um, we do Sherry Saturday Voice at 845 for head and neck cancer and cancer uh, survivors. There was a recital that came up at our showroom. Uh, I got there early to set up camera equipment. And even though I'd rehearsed the script for Deborah, totally forgot the 845. I'm getting a text. It was my agenda that went oops. And I messed up. And there was a change of plan. Thank God Deborah is a dear friend. And uh, sent me a text and said, we can do it next week. You you were on overload this week. We'll do it next week. So that was my one of my oops this week. My second oops uh, in the showroom this week is working was uh, two appointments that got changed. Oops, that one wasn't my fault. But it was on my agenda. It went on God's agenda. Because if those people had not canceled, I would not have met the two people I met. I would have not got a phone call from a wonderful lady 
that we ended up talking forever about the Brill life. She was from Alabama. And we talked about how we didn't meet people for coincidence, didn't know this woman. Um, but we talked five times yesterday and um, there was a reason. She said, God does not have coincidences, but there are oopses in our life that open doors of opportunity. Uh, I went to Indiana last weekend, wonderful time with the family, mom and dad doing great. Uh, they're at Protestant Home. We love you guys. Got to play the piano for uh, some other patients there and families and saw smiles on faces. Um, music opens up a lot of things for a lot of people. And it brings back memories. Um, I was planning on being there this weekend. And then, oops, something happened. So there's something I'm supposed to do in Tennessee this weekend. When you look at Luke 1 79, it says, shine on those living in darkness and in the shadows of death to guide their feet in the path of peace. Um, everything that our family has gone through with mom with Parkinson's, which just took a turn for the good right now, um, it's led us in directions to helping others with Parkinson's. It's um, guided our paths with oops of uh, things that we found out that, um, you know, we may be going through ourselves one day. So there is a reason in an oops for everything. Paraphrasing the daily book, Jesus Calling, you can make plans as you look toward the day, but hold those plans tentatively. Um, anticipating God may have other ideas. Instead of looking at the horizon like the beautiful picture Florida I posted um, with your life and future, um, you want to concentrate on the task before you minute by minute. And God doesn't leave your side when those oops happen. Trust Him and let he will let you know what to do next. Flexibility and those oops or changes of plans that happen and what he's really got planned in that change. If we're not changing, we're not growing. And if we're not growing, we're stagnant in our life and in the life God wants us to, to have and what he wants us to do. When I started at Miller Piano Specialist, um, I was there 10 years I walked in with five notebooks. I do everything on notebook. Uh, little cards. Uh, no, we have computers. Well, you can have those computers, but that's a man-made thing. I do books longhand. I'm anal. I do it this way. And um, gradually by grad, little by little, change happened. And a lot of those books, except for two, um, went to the computer. And um, it was a change. Uh, we couldn't do what we do with the radio station simulcasting through streaming. And uh, Ryan and, and Ralph's into, in, intuition of what was happening and changing AM and FM. And now going live on Facebook which was my oops this morning. One of my devices messed up. It's raining and as you know in southern Indiana, internet does not always um, adapt to the weather. And uh, I wanted to be outside where it was green and it's a little dreary, but it was so beautiful. And uh, hopefully next week we can do that and we can be outside to see God's, God's work. Trust him and let him know that you're ready for what's next. Be flexible. Be flexible and ready for that change. Big, big thing. Hey, Kelly Potter. Good to see you, hon. Sorry, this is a rewind, I think. or We may have it twice. There's somebody out there that needs this, though. Because oops in our lives um, happen all the time especially if you're a Carlisle, but the oops means that there's a plan that God has that's bigger than what you put on that calendar or that agenda. So 
Be ready to change. Be ready to grow. The Bread of Life ministry is growing in leaps and bounds. 51 years on this program, it's growing. And once again, thank you, WBNL Town Square Furnishing, for sponsoring this program all these years. And we want to let you know, too, that uh, sharing this with as many people as possible gets the word out. And it helps people know what's happening. And hopefully it's an uplifting. Um, Kelly, I'm using Jesus Calling. Yes. It was my oops in my book today. Um, the Bread of Life Ministry, which started in 73, um, I, I just can't believe how many years ago that's been because it seems like yesterday in the basement uh, of our home and actually started in a double wide trailer in Folsomville when dad bought that first box of, of um, clothing home for us to sort and hand out through the community to those in need. So the bread of life is growing in leaps and bounds. We have so many wonderful people working there, volunteers, uh, board members, um, upcoming events we have to raise money. If you would like to support the bread of life, uh, you can do that by sending your contributions to P.O. Box 12, Linville, Indiana, 47619. Uh, you can call. Uh, we have operators there. Um, uh, 812-922-5424 and being a food bank and a food pantry we have double duty so we work with individuals in the front and families in need and you can call 812-922-5339 uh, for help that way um, if you are an agency and you're distributing into your area we work with you as well and you can call 812-922-5424 for your pickup time and to make sure that we've got all your papers in and uh, ready for you to pick up to distribute in your area. You that are supporting us or helping us help others in a bigger way than you even know, not just individuals and families, but agencies into their communities that are helping others as well. <clears throat> and it's your support that's helped us keep going. And we're always free to those in need. When this was started, it was for the people, by the people. And uh, that's what we've tried to continue doing. We've grown. You can find us at Bread of Life Ministry uh, uh, Inc. org on a website. All forms of social media. We're now on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Yes, uh, I don't tweet a lot, but um, we are on these forms of social media. Um, there's a virtual walk tour on our YouTube channel that was done a few years ago by Deborah Sheridan. Um, we also started the Bread of Life Ministry radio program, WBNL, on YouTube now. So you can find archive videos. We're getting up about two or three a week. So you can see some of that, the radio station, some of the old memories we have, and some of the new programming that's going on now. So we want to thank you so much. Um, this one was kind of short and sweet and to the point because the eight o'clock did not get on Facebook and I did not want that to happen. So um, don't forget the oops, change in plans that happen. You can plan your day, but God may have bigger plans. So look to him, open your heart to him, and see what plan he has for you today, this moment, this hour, tomorrow. Plan your day, but be ready for, oops, God's got something bigger. Thank you guys again, Bread of Life Ministry Radio Program, WBNL, signing off.